What's up y'all, Sam the Jeep Guy here. So, it's been like two weeks since I've uploaded a video. My apologies. But just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed here lately. Uh, my last video, I think I had like 35, 36 subscribers. And right now, at this time, we're calling it April 26th. I've got 74, 74 subscribers that's awesome i know it's not like thousands like all these other big youtubers got but that means a lot to me so if y'all hit that subscribe button i appreciate you you make this kind of worth doing so i know i haven't made a video in two weeks uh just haven't really had anything worth filming on haven't really been wrenching on the jeep or anything uh so that might be a world record two weeks and i haven't had to fix anything so i did acquire something though um I went out and got a Ford 8.8 .8 rear axle, 410. It's open diff, but there's some upsides to that. Um, so I figured today I'd just kind of make a video showing y'all what I've got, what you need to get one put in your Jeep. This isn't going to be an install video because I'm not quite ready yet. I'm waiting on all the brackets to come in. But, uh, just kind of giving y'all a rundown what to look for, how to decode these axles, uh, what your models y'all want to look for, what to stay away from, that sort of thing. So let's drive down to the shed and I'll show y'all what I got. All right, so before we head down there, I want to show y'all something real quick. So I recently put in a 231 transfer case in this Jeep and with me having a Granny 4, uh, Granny 4 speed with a Granny Low, I want y'all, I've shown it on Instagram, I want y'all to see just how slow this thing can go. And just so everybody knows, this is not slow motion or anything. This is seriously how fast it goes. It will actually idle all the way up this hill. That's, it's pretty steep. It might not right now because it's a little cold, but. There's a little tree up here I want to climb on. I want to show y'all something. All right, so there's a log right there. Let's see if we can't crawl up that. This would be the benefit to the four-wheel drive low and a granny low. See how slow I can crawl up this thing? Let's see if she'll go up it. A uh, little hop. There we go. Yeah, baby. Right over it. Uh, yeah, so I am like over the moon about that i'm ecstatic it's so cool uh it's gonna make four-wheeling so much more easier back this thing up the cool thing is my reverse is also a granny low so yeah i'm i'm backing up right now if you can tell Ooh, audio i'm gonna put it in four-wheel drive now there we go Actually, I put in two-wheel drive. So I'm making around that tree. Oh yeah. So uh, I do have one more upgrade I'm waiting to put on. But with me having this axle, I'm just gonna wait until I do the axle and I'm gonna do it all at one time. Uh, I did put in a Grant steering wheel. It's a lot smaller than the stock one, but it looks great, feels great. And I actually like it a little bit better off-road. Um, I feel like I can turn it a lot faster. So whenever I ordered this one, I thought I got the 13 inch, like the stock replacement. It's not, it's like a, it's probably like a thing 12 inch. But anywho, let's get on out here to shit. All right, so there it is. Ford 8.8. .8. This one came out of a 2000 Ford Explorer, one of the two doors. It's got a good bit of surface rust on it, but the good news is I can clean all that off. And so, benefits to the Ford 8.8. .8. This one, 31 spline axles, disc brakes, and I don't know, don't. Don't hold me to it, but I should be able to use these parking brake cables on my YJ. Uh, 
If not, East Coast Gear Supply makes some that'll go from this axle to your Jeep. It's like $100 for the set. So I'm thinking about, I'm gonna try to get those to work. If they don't work, then I'll just get the ones from East Coast. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, you want one out of like an Explorer, uh, Explorer Sport Track, or Crown Vic. Uh, Crown Vic's usually had a lower gear ratio, or numerically lower, but higher gear ratio. So it'd be like a 3 three o or even like a 270 something. So you want to try to stay away from those unless you're going to just completely re-gear it anyway. Um, the Explorers were 373 or 410. Um, some of them had a limited slip. This one is open. Uh, let's see if I can get down here on the tag. So. Not bad off my bad. See, you're right there. 410. If it's a limited slip in between the 4 and the 1, there'll be an L. Um, I'll put a picture of how to decode one of the tags here. Okay, so that's what the tag would look like. That kind of help you decode a little bit better. The reason I wanted the open diff over a limited slip. Limited slip would have been great, but for the open differential, the carrier is a little bit stronger because you, they didn't have to cram a limited slip uh, in it. So the carrier would be a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and it makes it a lot easier for me to throw in the aftermarket locker one day if I want to. So right now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I kind of have fun with open differentials. Um, I might do like lunchbox locker, a lot, one of those uh, uh, Aussie lockers. It's like a ratchet in type. I might do something like that. I don't know yet. Has yet to be determined. Um, East Coast Gear Supply has everything you need for that axle to swap it into your YJ. Um, they got all the brackets for the spring perches, shock mounts. They even got a freeze plug to block off the old speed sensor so it cleans it all up really nicely. Um, what else did I order through them? Uh, the entire brake line kit. They have brakes and stuff, but I'm thinking I could probably get those cheaper through my local auto parts store. Calipers look a little rough. I might have to replace those, but it's gonna have all new brake lines on it. That axle won't even look the same whenever I get done with it. Uh, 8.8s were also found in Ford Rangers. Try to stay away from those um, because they were a little bit narrower. But the big thing is all Rangers had 28 spline, unless it was a FX4 level two. Um, they had 31 spline axles and they had like electronic lockers and all that. Um, so if you pick up one of those, throw on some wheel spacers and you're good to go. But it's gonna take some fabrication. Um, I'm planning on trying to move my axle back maybe at like a half an inch because I got some drive, sh uh, drive shaft. It's a little too close to that transfer case. So I might try to move it back a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my boomerang shackles while I'm there. So with that being said, it's come to a sad time. After that axle goes in, Jeep's gonna be done. At least all the expensive stuff anyway. There might be, I might throw on some bumpers or something like that one day, but for the most part, it's gonna be done. So what am I gonna do now? Don't worry y'all, the channel's not done. I'll still do adventure videos, some how-to stuff. I gotta fix something else, which is inevitable. Uh, I'll do videos like that. But with this axle going in the Jeep, it's gonna be pretty well set. It doesn't leak anything now. It's got plenty of power, carburetor's figured out, cooling's figured out. I just needed that axle and I've got one. So I gotta get that in there and then y'all, she's done. So I'm gonna be putting that axle in. Jeep's gonna be down for probably a few days. I need something to drive. Well, I might have something lined up. Uh, not gonna say nothing yet. Gonna wait and make sure we, everything's fine with it and it all goes through good. But we might have an addition to the channel. I don't know yet, but we might. So, hey, once again, thank you to all 74 of y'all for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. 
Um, if you got friends that like Jeep stuff, want to know some more about this kind of stuff, let them know about us. Uh, we do some pretty cool stuff on this channel. Uh, anybody has any questions about 8.8s, holler at me. I'll help you out. Um, Instagram, Sam the Jeep Guy. Give it a follow or whatever they do on Instagram. I can't even remember right now. Uh, that's usually the best way to get a hold of me. I check my messages on there, you know, a couple times a day. Uh, but yeah, if y'all want to know anything about that, if y'all want to see that, go in the Jeep, like a how-to video, pop it in the comments. Let me know. I'll do it. And once again, thank you all 74 y'all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Then you'll know when I'm uploading all this cool stuff. And what I've got in mind for another project vehicle, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a project. It's going to take, I'm going to stretch it out like over a year. So it's not going to be a boop, hey, we threw on some wheels and we're done. Now this one's going to take some know-how, some research, some really cool stuff. So if you want to see something like that, let me know. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Y'all know all that good jazz. So until next time, I'll see y'all later.